Hello again. Now, all eyes may be on the Duchess of Cambridge's baby bump, but it turns out that it's her nose that's sparking a trend. Apparently, she has the most desirable proboscis in Britain, and it's currently the most requested feature in plastic surgery procedure. Joining me now to talk about nose envy is cosmetic surgeon Dr Dirk Kramer and beauty editor Nadine Baggett. Welcome to you both. But isn't this a bit perverse that, that people say, I want Kate Middleton, I want the Duchess of Cambridge's nose? I mean, whatever. Well, basically, I must say, I can understand the dream to look like the Duchess. She's a beautiful woman, she has some movie star looks. Um, and, but we shouldn't forget that her nose looks so perfect because all her facial features together harmonize and they match. If I take her nose and I put her in your face, maybe it's a wrong, it's the wrong example. Let's say put it in Nadine's face. Um, I can. I'm going to say you put it in my face. I can be the next Queen of England. You. Give me one. <laughs> Nadine, first of all, won't look like the Duchess. Second of all, she won't even look more beautiful. You're beautiful enough. So get that quickly. from me. And third of all, we look at the new nose and we wouldn't even consider the nose perfect. So bottom line is. We shouldn't abuse cosmetic surgery to copycat stars. So don't copycat. If you don't want copycat. a better nose than the one you've got, take advice on what would suit you, presumably. Exactly. I mean, we should use um, cosmetic surgery to enhance and chisel our own individual How beauty. How complicated is it having rhinoplasty? I mean, if I, you know, wanted to go in and have a little retrusive Well, it's button. quite a procedure because we have to break your nose at three different areas. Um, it is quite traumatic and yeah. you probably end up very bruised. Um, yeah. It's not nothing, it is something. How long after you've had it done before you look in inverted commas normal again? Nose takes longer, it takes months until all the swelling is done. Yeah. We even say up to one year until the nose tip right. swells down. Fine. But there are alternatives. There are alternatives. Just briefly, cost on that if you roughly. Um, rhinoplasty, four to six thousand pound. Okay, rather. Right oh, lots if of fantastic. If you've got a little dent in the nose, or you've yeah. got a bump on the nose, what modern cosmetic surgeons can do actually is they can fill the dent or fill the, the area above the bump with a filler, yeah. and that's about fifteen hundred pounds and lasts for about a year, and you get quite a subtle effect, but it can be very effective, and Dr. Dirk can do it. Love it. It's great. Great right. non-invasive technique. Right, well, shall we get on... Shall we, shall we look some at some makeup? Shall we look at some yes, really cheap options? Let's look at some cheap options. Then. Come on, yes, I want okay. to introduce you to right. Rebecca, right. who's a makeup artist. And we've also got a lovely lady called Katie who's going to talk about her nose. Shall we get right. Katie? Katie, in? come out here. Yeah. Lovely to see you. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Now, so, so, so you, are you not, why are you not happy with it? I just think it's a bit too big for my face. I think it's, when I look in the mirror, that's what I notice about my face. So I'd quite like it slimmed down slightly. You no, know, so do I, but there's no hope for me and mine. I mean, <laughs> I interviewed Barry Manilow once and we went nose to nose and we were a good three yards apart. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you look pretty as it is. But what, what can you do? Well, what you can do is contouring makeup. This yeah. is Rebecca from Kevin O'Quan. Basically, and what she's done is she's contoured the nose in a similar way. If we have a look at some pictures, Adele was at the Oscars last night. Yeah. She has a lot of contouring under her cheekbones. So this is all makeup. All makeup. Yeah. Just makeup. It's just darker makeup and lighter makeup. And what it basically does is it slims the outside of the nose and it slims the cheekbones and under the jaw as well. Do you want to have a look at before and after? Yes. Yeah. Look at Katie this morning when she came in. Right. Here's the Where before is she? shot. Here she comes. Here we right. go. And now look at a live. If we do a live screen, you'll be able to see what Rebecca's done. If you come to look down my camera there, look down camera there three. There go. Oh, it does look narrower, doesn't it? And Considerably. Actually, Rebecca, show... Look, there you oh, go. Look at that. Oh, yes. And if you have a look, do you want to go in live yeah, and you can show where you've done it? So basically, I've taken my sculpturing palette, which is, the product was designed to mimic natural shadows, and we do that... and by mixing grey, red and brown and it's supposed to be subtle because it's supposed to look like a natural shadow yeah. and all I've done is just apply a slight shadow down here and across here and down here and, and it down really here. does I'm standing next to it and you don't think oh my goodness no. she's wearing makeup to make it that's no. astonishing it's just, it's just trickery Wonderful. makeup and we just want to make this area up here and a lot more defined Katie, more Rebecca, streamlined. thank you very much thank indeed. Shall I show you the yes, products do. we use? Yes, do. Especially if you pop thank back you. Great, thank you. So here. so here is Kevin Aquan sculpting powder that we used. There's the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage, £26, and Smashbox Skin Perfecting Bronzer, £23. Right. Could all be used in a similar way. Now, what about the old eyes? What Absolutely. are we going to do with that? Well, basically, uh, nobody knows it, but this is the body part which shows signs of ageing 
first of all, and it gives us a very tired look. And mm. in the worst case scenario, even it, it, we have a diminished peripheral vision. So these need, people need to go surgery, and it's an eye lift, and I introduced my specialty, my signature procedure, the TBT eye lift, years ago to the UK. And um, basically what I do in the surgery, I turn back what time did to, to your eyes. Yes. Conventional techniques, and that's the wrong um, approach, they remove fat to remove this puffy look of the eyelids, but this gives us very often a gaunt, hollow-eyed look. My technique preserves the fat and repositions it. Right, so it's, it's just the skinny. Let's meet Angela, because Angela is not at all happy with her. Angela, do come in. I think you look lovely. So, what if, uh, if you can explain to us what would happen here? Exactly. In her case, we see the, she has an extra amount of, of skin, which we have to excise a slip of skin. But what also bothers her probably is kind of this, this puffiness, yeah. the hooding, and this is due to a fat prolapse optimal fat. What I do, I don't resect the fat, I don't touch it, I just reposition it with a suture. So the right. wound is very superficial. The trauma is less to the patient, yeah. the recovery is quicker, we don't have the severe risk involved. And the cost would be? It would be around 3,000. Okay. And most important, she would look very, very natural. Right, okay. Let's show you what we can do for yep. 50 pounds. Oh, you go. Pop 50 pounds. Right. Thank you. Look. Angela, I want to introduce you to Stephanie. Yeah. This is the hydrodermy eye lift. Right. It's 50 pounds. If you start it and have a go, mm -hmm. what it is, is it's very, very, very gentle microcurrent mm -hmm. that is delivered through the skin into the muscles. If you lie still for a long time, like when you're on a plane, your ankles become puffy. If you exercise the muscle, you actually lose the puffiness, and that's exactly what this does. So, it's so what on. we do is we paint on the gel. The, the, do you want to put the current through it? Yeah. You put the current through it, and you'll actually see the begin the eyebrow begin to lift. But more importantly, the puffiness goes. This won't hurt much. <laughs> it probably yeah. won't it hurt at all. And this costs what? How this is on? fifty pounds, and you actually do notice a visible difference straight away. And how away. long will it last for? I reckon it lasts for about a good two or three days, which is good if, before yeah, a big if night out. It's a special night out, so it's, it looks a bit Frankenstein-like. And very, very briefly. Just on quickly. That. Clinique laser repair, for focus for eyes, £28. YSL, top secrets, wake up eye care, £26. Longcom, Genifique, eye pearl, serum, £45. All have little metallic rollables you can put in the fridge, yeah. nice and cool, cool and shrink your eyes down first thing in the morning. Bless you, there you are, and we'll see you later. Thank you. We won't recognise you. <laughs> now, if anyone at home is considering surgery or other treatments, please make sure you see your GP to seek appropriate advice and visit a reputable practitioner whose previous work you're able to inspect. And if you'd like a live consultation with Dr. Dirk and Nadine, just email us, Alan at itv.com, making sure you send a photo and contact details. My thanks to Nadine, Dr. Dirk, and my guests. Thank you very much, Nadine. <laughs>